July the 16th, 2020. This is the date currently set for the first launch of the new Ariane 6. For ESA and European industry, the clock is ticking, and two and a half years appears like tomorrow when it comes to developing launches and building infrastructure. However, in the green Amazon jungle of Kuru, Ariane 6 is already a reality. The future launch pad is already well underway, and the infrastructure for Europe's newest launcher is taking shape. We have Ariane 6 for competitivity, Ariane 6 for cooperation, and co Ariane 6 for growth. Here is a demonstration with European industries coming here to French Guiana, building with local industries the launch pad from where we will launch mid-July 2020, the first Ariane 6. The most impressive part of the Ariane 6 launch site is the giant hole for the launch pad, which is now finished. Also visible now are the flame deflectors that will be on each side of the hole. Construction has begun on the 90 meters high launch tower. This tower has to protect and shelter the rocket until a few hours before liftoff. Some 600 meters from the pad, the future Batiment d'Assemblage Lanceur, the launcher assembly building, is being built. This is where the different stages of Ariane 6 will be assembled horizontally. This is a new approach as ESA's previous launches have always been assembled vertically. This change in method also reflects the changed role for ESA as regards Ariane 6. ESA and uh, its member states have a new role in Ariane 6 in the sense that we change governance. Governance by giving more responsibility to industry, to the private sector, while the public sector has defined the high-level requirements, which means that we said we want a cheaper launcher, we said we want an environmental friendly launcher, we want a flexible launcher, and this is absolutely key in the current situation to be ready to catch new markets, and Ariane 6 will be the right response to that. Today in the jungle of Kuru, the sound of cranes and bulldozers can be heard, as builders are now working from early morning until late in the evening in an effort to finish the launch site in time. Meanwhile in Europe, the production of the launcher itself is due to start next year, with several tests of the new engines and boosters that have been developed for Ariane 6. However, Ariane 6 is not the only new launcher which ESA is building. There's also Vega C, the enhanced and more powerful version of the lightweight launcher Vega. Its first launch is planned for 2019. Despite the many challenges, the European Space Agency continues to go forward, securing its new launcher family with Ariane 6 and Vega C. Thanks to ESA and industry, Europe will remain a space power with a guaranteed access to space.